Welcome back, guys. Uh, today I thought I'd take a look at um, Anturgos, and one of the things that I wanted to bring to your attention, uh, Anturgos is an excellent arch distribution. Um, some people don't call it a distribution, they call it an installer, um, but I prefer to think of it as a distribution because uh, it has a graphical interface on the installer and makes installing Arch very easy. And one of the things that I wanted to do, if you go into the Anturgos website, um, and when you go to the download section, it says six desktops to choose from. And LXDE was not among the six. And so I wanted to take a look at uh, how Anturgos would react to installing the LXDE desktop on top of an Anturgos install. So what I did is I took the uh, Anturgos XFCE install and I downloaded it, installed it, and then on my first boot I updated and then I installed the LXDE desktop. It's very simple, it's very easy to do. All you do is open up a terminal, sudo pacman capital S LXDE. I'm not going to go ahead and install it again, but as you can see, um, it brings up several um, individual uh, sections or groups of applications that are required and just press enter the default is all and it'll go ahead and install everything you need to run LXDE in Antergos. Now I gotta say it is lightning fast. It is absolutely um, I have installed everything on top of it so as you can see in the system tray I've got a simple screen recorder running uh, my Wi-Fi, no problems at all. Clip it, caffeine, synapse, redshift, P sensor, absolutely phenomenal. Then I went ahead and installed Wine and Wine Tricks so I could get Battle.net, Hearthstone working. Steam is running fine, and I'm running Euro Truck Simulator through Steam. Um, and War Thunder also. If I go into my downloads folder, I've got War Thunder. So, and War Thunder runs fine. So, if you want, if you're a big fan of the LXDE desktop like I am, and you want to try Antergos, even though it doesn't list LXDE as one of the available desktops, you can still install it. Just in, just install the XFCE desktop version and then go ahead and install LXDE right on top of it. Then lo once that's installed, log out. When you log back in, in your login screen in the lower left, you will see um, a choice between XFCE and LXDE. Just select LXDE and sign in and it'll bring up your LXDE desktop and then you can go ahead and tweak it whatever way you like just like I did. So guys that is it for this brief video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe and I will see you soon. Take care.